<laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the land of chem. I am your host and the author. My name is Jeffrey Drum. Just wanted to make this quick video, uh, well, twofold really. Uh, the first purpose is to make a formal announcement that limited first edition print copies of the land of chem are now <laughs> available. Um, this is the literal manifestation of my dreams into reality. Um, it is an unbelievably surreal experience to be able to hold this book in my hands. Um, <laughs> there's a great quote, and I don't know who the originator of the quote is, but it goes something along the lines of thoughts become things. And this book is absolute proof that that is the case. Uh, so I just want to let you all know that again, physical copies of the book are now available on my website. And just to give you guys a preview, <laughs> this thing looks absolutely spectacular. And I have to give a huge shout out to my good friend, Blake Jones with Penmore Lithographers for helping me design the cover. Um, he did an absolutely fantastic job and it's better than anything I could have imagined. So Blake, thank you so much. I really appreciate it, brother. I couldn't have done this without you. So anyway, just a quick preview of the book. The outside cover is a papyrus cover. Obviously it's not real papyrus, but it is designed to look that way. And it has a very, very antique look to it. Again, uh, huge credit to Blake for helping me pick out that cover. There is purple metallic foil stamping on the front and back covers. And again, the land of chem, an initiation into ancient chemistry through the degrees of the Egyptian pyramids. And <laughs> again, the interior of the book, of course, my social media plug, and the body pages of the text are actually orchid color. Um, it is absolutely beautiful. Again, this is what I would consider to be a collector's edition of this book. Um, again, very limited first edition print copies. Um, so please visit my website and get yours today. This is just a little picture of the back cover and one of my favorite quotes from the book. The mastery of physics and chemistry embodied by the pyramids reflected the superior intellect of his brethren. And by implementing these fundamental sciences into the stone constructions, they were able to transform them from lifeless monuments of architecture into functional machines. A quarry could never have imagined that utilizing sophisticated construction techniques allowed the order to achieve the complex reactions required to manufacture these chemicals. The evidence of this feat, however, was engineered into the design of the stone chambers and the pyramids themselves were built to withstand the test of time. And that is from the second chapter, the second degree, discussing the Red Pyramid of Dashur. And just as a quick preview to some upcoming videos, uh, the next one, will be a quick review of the esoteric symbolism of the scarab and the apis bull as related to the function of the step pyramid. And this is one of my favorite little um, gems that's included within the narrative of the story is an alternate interpretation of the symbolism uh, of these two uh, sacred animals and insects. Uh, again, the sacred scarab, which is a dung rolling beetle, and of course, the sacred apis bull, the cow or cattle in general, um, of course, cattle being sacred animals across the board, not exclusive to Egypt, but permeating all of the ancient civilizations across the world. But again, how are these two symbols connected to the function of the step pyramid? I'll be discussing that in the upcoming video. And after that one, I will be moving from the red pyramid into the bent pyramid. Um, both of these two structures are located in Dashur. Uh, again, I believe that they were uh, constructed in very co close proximity to capitalize on that close relationship for the production of a different chemical compound. So you have the red pyramid producing an aqueous solution that was converted into a more practical solid compound inside the bent pyramid. So my next two videos will be covering those two topics. I really appreciate all of your support. Again, just wanted to make this quick video. I promised everyone a formal announcement. Oh, and again, so these are some schematics of the interior components of the Bent Pyramid. Uh, this is one of those structures that is not often discussed in regard to the Egyptian pyramids. 
mostly because the uh, Egyptologists consider this pyramid to be a technical failure and it was never intended as an actual burial. Um, but again, there's nothing um, that was a failure about this structure. It's actually a masterpiece of, of geometry and mathematics. And it's if you want to learn more about the geometry encoded in the exterior of the structure, I highly recommend a visit to the Sacred Geometry Decoded channel. Alan does a great job breaking down all of the geometry that is encoded within the structure. Uh, I just focus on the function of what's going on inside the structure. So we've been kind of fishing in two different parts of the same river. Again, shout out to Alan at Sacred Geometry Decoded channel. Hope you're doing well, brother, um, out in Australia. All right, so again, thank you guys so much. Just wanted to make, I've been promised you the formal announcement about the book release, so here it is. <laughs> again, those copies are available on my website, which is www.thelandofchem.com. And of course, if you're not following me on Instagram, how did you hear about this YouTube channel if you're not following me on social? Uh, but again, my handle on Instagram is just at the land of chem. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Stay tuned for a lot more coming down the road very soon. And until next time, we'll see ya.